Hey yo guys, good morning. Now, you guys remember everything that happens in my videos and I tell you, you know, some weird stuff goes down on the street out in front of my house in this neighborhood. Well, this morning about 8 o'clock, I started receiving phone calls asking, you know, what the hell is going on at the end of your street? And obviously we were sleeping, didn't know, so. We're about to go down there. Moral, well, long story short, uh, hazmat crew is here. What are you doing in here? This room is contaminated. It's never a dull day. Huh? We should probably walk on the other side. Probably. All your theories are caca. Up and around. What the? And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but every single one of those people standing around had a badge and a gun on them. Did you know? Did did did? did, did, did. Mm, well, some shit is going down today. Every single one of those people had a badge and a gun on them. That's nuts. But like I tell you, you got. Might as well. Like I tell you guys every single day when I do these vlogs, I couldn't make this stuff up if I wanted to. And reasons like that, this is why I do these videos for you guys, so you guys can see that sometimes I do things. Sometimes it's interesting. Subscribe to my channel. Well, like I said, good morning. <laughs> Nothing like a. Nothing says good morning like an entire crew of hazmat suits and people with bad the peach what? What? Yeah. You're not talking to me. But people with badges and guns. We'll go back. We'll go back. What Amanda's you? there. So we can get some inside scoop. What are you talking about? Amanda, she said she saw us. We can walk back the other way and stand with her if we want. Get the inside uh, scoop. Now we gotta walk all the way back. I just don't want something to happen. Like, I don't want them to try to take my camera and be like, no recording. Because, I mean, if it was a regular store person, I wouldn't give it. Come on, guy. Come on. Really? Huh. Whatever. As I was saying, if it was just some regular, like, store owner, I wouldn't care. But these people have badges and guns. So, just saying. The almost flat tire. It, yeah, yeah, he yeah. knows. Yeah, we told I him. told him he's got a flat tire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's probably why he's still there. He can't go nowhere. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait he, no. He's been trying to call somebody, but... <laughs> he's waiting he's, on the patch kit. <laughs> he hasn't been able... He's, his car's been sitting there the whole time. In the same spot. Time, you gotta go... Have to, have, to, have to somebody got a flat tire. <laughs> somebody. Stuff and, they, yeah, they've got a whole shit little bag sitting there with stuff in it. It's crazy. They're all NCIS. NCIS. Never heard of it. Mm -hmm. They all got badges and guns on them. They have some, something interesting to pay attention to. <laughs> I was just gonna be sitting home doing schoolwork and I'm like, oh, uh -huh. hey, I should go over there and see what's going on. Yeah. And they were all like coming in and out. Very, very crazy. Yeah, people are looking through the garage stuff. But, that cop looks like he's wanting to come out here and say something. So, <laughs> what's he gonna say? How many, how many <laughs> shots do you got anybody need this? Huh? 
How many shots do you get every with this machine? <clears throat> oh, I've got tons and tons and tons. I took a couple pictures of them, like. And he's seen me talking to neighbors. Oh, I'm sure. And he's been staring at me like a. I am kind of surprised that the people from the news they don't know you yet. Because sometimes well, the people he, from he, the news that come called, around. He called Fox 13 News and I'm like, okay, well you would think something like this is going on. You would think right away they'd be on it, like wanting to come out. <laughs> like, oh, we gotta get, we gotta cover this story. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe they maybe they heard about the hazmat truck and they said stay away. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Well, you're gonna have a police to deflect time. If you gotta go run up, somebody can run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can hear it. I probably look like a lunatic. <laughs> but they keep looking over here. You can expect neighbors not to come outside. It's like automatically, automatically that you camera. know something's not, but it's going to be kind of odd when you have federal agents. So people are going to want to see what's going on. I'm sorry, I'm going to make sure my neighborhood is safe. <coughs> Apparently it's and not. We've got two na I've got two neighbors that are under investigation for drugs right now. Oh my god. So kinda, I'm wondering when they're going to go raid their houses. And then this. That's a great ride. Oh my god. I didn't stop them from getting some Dunkin' Donuts though. Oh I know, two of the guys went last they went and got Dunkin' Donuts. There was like three boxes sitting over there. <laughs> Mm. Well, they gotta eat too. It obviously ain't that nasty, whatever it is. It, was they, uh, they've been here a while. A lot of people. They were, they've been there a while. Been there a while. Yeah. I know that they've been there for a lot. There was cops there all night, in and out. There. I can't believe they've been here since early, early last night. That's crazy. They got donuts on top of the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. They gotta eat. <laughs> Yeah, they got to eat too. These people, they got a good job. Some, like, of, some like of them have salary. coffee and stuff in their hands because they're trying to keep warm, but... Shit is though here, no taking the pictures. All right, so I was starting to get uh, a little bit sketched out. Those cops and those agents, they were just, they were just mean mugging, like literally, like they'd be like they would they would nudge or poke one of the other officers and just literally just point across the street to all of us. Could have been because of the camera, I don't know. I don't want my camera confiscated. I don't want a guy with the gun and the badge to walk up to me and be like, delete it. Uh, I think I might have to at that point. But just an update from what I learned, what we overheard a little bit, from what you guys might have saw. All of that has been going on since apparently 5 a.m. this morning, last night, whatever you want to call it. But what we saw is apparently only half of the actual operation that was there. They showed up wearing their bulletproof tactical vest and all of that. They were bringing out stuff in like little brown paper bags and stuff. I don't... I, I don't know, it was weird, but some guy went like, you never know who you live next to, I guess. So, yeah, that's that's an interesting way to start the day off. I don't know, I'm weirded out. I'm glad they didn't take my camera. I'm glad they didn't say to delete the video, but...
I don't even have words. I, I, I have no words for what just happened. Literally just a couple videos ago, I just told you guys how, you know, I've been looking and I haven't seen this guy at all. I didn't know if he was watching, if he was one of the, one of the YouTubers, like... But it happened, I was in my room and out of my window, he stopped like two houses over and just stopped. And, he, and now he's not taking a picture with his cell phone. This is like a high quality camera, like a better camera than mine, just saying, but... Yeah. So, <laughs> uh... I'm, I'm sketched out. Uh, I'm a little bit paranoid. I feel kind of anxious. I feel like I want to leave my house, but I feel like I, don't, I also don't want to leave my house for the same exact reason. Yeah. And it's like, if it was like a private investigator or something, they wouldn't stop and, at, and they see if you want to talk like that. They don't do things like that. As soon as they get noticed, you know, they, they speed away type of deal. Not that I know personally, but I mean, I've watched TV. I'm gonna look again at this exact around this exact time tomorrow and see if it happens again and then this time I'll actually do something because I was just so caught off. I never I was I was talking to Kelsey about it. Neither one of us honestly ever expected to catch it. And we kinda assumed maybe it had stopped, but I guess it hasn't. Or maybe he's just coming around like once every few weeks, but I caught him, I I thought I got his license plate. And if he wasn't driving a company vehicle, and if he was anybody professional like that, you knock on the door, you leave a card, something like that, sorry we missed you, you like, you know. But what was that? And like, just the way, like, his attitude, the way he was saying his words, like, he, he just kind of seemed like he was going to be an asshole. Like, I, I really don't know what about, I've never seen this person before. And uh, now that I have somewhat of a video of his face, did you guys notice in the video, like when he noticed, actually noticed me recording him, he kind of sat back in his seat so I wouldn't catch his, catch his face on film. So, and like, just, all of that just kind of screams sketchy. So I'm going to send this video out to a few people who are going to show a few more people and see if we can try to figure out who this person is because he's not driving a company vehicle. He wasn't wearing a uniform any, of any sort that I could make out. He was an old bald guy in sunglasses with a wheelbarrow in the back of his truck. And I think the wheelbarrow is the most sketchiest part about it, man. So, yeah. Next time, I'll, I'll probably at least try to do something. I, w I was just like, I don't even know. <sighs> I can't make this stuff up. I really can't. I really can't. I'm just glad I have a camera to record things like this now because I I wouldn't believe me. Ugh, that was weird.